Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Cooler to create uh, color schemes for um, Photoshop. So what you're going to do first is go to the link in Edmodo, adobecooler.com, and you'll come in here, and the first thing you'll do up here at the top, there'll be a register button. I'm already signed in, so go ahead and register. You can register with a Gmail account or whatever like that, and then go ahead and sign in. Um, and then what you can do, once you're in here, uh, you'll see I've already got some things that I've created or it's actually got you can type in like a, a scheme color like you type in watermelon and if you push return it it'll give you a bunch of like colors that look like watermelon and you can of course do all kinds of things like that but the cool thing about Adobe Cooler is you can create scheme color scheme so you click on create and then it's got some rules here like analogous colors or colors that are close to each other on this color scale, scale, see this, and you move this around and you choose your main colors, the one with the white circle there, and then it finds colors there, and you can spread this out, and you'll know that it spreads out in increments the same and stuff, so you can move these around, and it'll give colors that complement each other and so on like that, and then you got monochromatic means colors on the same scale, so of different shades of green and tints and stuff like that, then you got triad, which goes out to different areas, and on and on. And complementary colors are colors across the scale. So like if you go to if you go to blues, you'll get oranges and yellows on the other side. If you go to greens, you get reds and stuff on the other side, and pinks and greens and purples and so on like that. The other thing that's cool is you can go from an image. So you can click on here and you can upload um, an image. This like I've got a flower finds colors in that photo. So you can create, and then once you get um, something created like you want, like I got these colors down here, then I titled it uh, Pretty Flower, and then um, some tags with it like um, uh, pinks, uh, yellers, and so on, and then I click on Save, and it saves it in my, um, my cool, so if I go to my cooler themes. I've got two here. You know, I've got some things here. And then once I get all this done, I can go and click on this little button here. It says download this theme as an Adobe Swatch. So I click on this, and it comes in as ASE. And then I download this wherever I want to load, download it like Photoshop ASE. And I've got it on my desktop. So now I'll show you. Um, how to put that into Photoshop. So I go to Photoshop and I go to Window and I go to Swatches. Swatches. My thing here, my name, and find um, my house, find my desktop, and there's my Pretty Flower ASE. So if I click on Pretty Flower ASE and load it, it comes up here. So then I can choose one of these colors. Or I can choose another one that I used here and see how it does each thing like that and so on. So that's how you can load colors from Adobe Cooler.